Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS box model. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to discuss each of the CSS box model properties. The first box model property I am going to discuss is CSS width property. Width property is used to specify the width of the content area. Various values that we can assign to CSS width property are auto, length, percentage. We can use fixed length unit like pixel. We can use responsive unit like percentage. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. You can see I have already opened default.html. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad in the body section. I am going to create one div, opening div, closing div. Within that I paste some content, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see content got displayed. I go to the notepad in the head section. I say opening style tag type equal to text or CSS closing style tag. Within that I say locate any div in this page, apply background color to cyan semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that div has the background color set to cyan we can set the width of this div by using the width property width i can say 400 px semicolon i am using fixed length unit px file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the div has 400 pixel width automatically the content moved down but it is not responsive that means we cannot display the page same as it is in different screen devices now we, are, we can be able to read the content properly no problem if the device or a screen is of smaller size you can see that the content goes out of the screen now i cannot read the content properly i have to take help of the scroll bar you can see I have to use the scroll bar to scroll around and read the content. So the pixels are not responsive on small screen devices and all they are not good. If you want to create a website of a responsive which can be able to be open in screen, tablet, mobile in a proper way then we have to use responsive unit like percentage. I go here I am going to use 60% now I am using the responsive unit percentage file save go to browser and refresh div is taking now 60 percent of the width of the browser or the screen if i start reducing the size you can see the width is automatically changing can you see that the content is not going outside the screen or outside the browser it is automatically changing its size it, now it is taking the 60 percent of the available width so percentage is responsive unit most of the time when we create a website which we want to open properly on the screen, tablet or small screen devices like mobiles, we use responsive units to set the width, height, various properties. At present, I am going to set it back to 200 pixels, file, save, go to browser and refresh. We can also set the height of the element by using the CSS height property. CSS height property is used to specify height of the content area. We can use various values like auto, we can use fixed length unit pixel, we can use responsive unit percentage. I go to the notepad, here I am going to say heigst height augto auto. By default the height of the element will be auto friends. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see there is no change. I go back to the notepad, here I am going to say 200px. Now I am using fixed unit. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can observe that the content area height is smaller than the content. The content is getting overflowed. The content is not getting fit within the area of the content. Right? There is a content overflow is happening. To control what to do to the overflowed content, we use CSS overflow property. CSS overflow property is used to specify how the overflowed content to be displayed whether it should be visible or hidden or should be scrollable. 
let me go to the notepad and then here I say overflow I say hidden semicolon file save go to browser and refresh now the overflow content is hidden friends we have their content but it is hidden from us we can make it visible by using the value visible file save go to browser and refresh it is visible but this is not a good way right we can also use a value called as scroll the scroll is going to add scroll bars to the div element file save go to browser and refresh you can see that automatically browser has added scroll bar a horizontal and a vertical scroll bar we can use that to read the complete content that is what we have here CSS overflow property and its values visible hidden and scroll also we have two more properties CSS overflow X property it is used to specify whether the horizontal scroll bar to be visible or hidden various values that we can use with the overflow X property are visible and hidden CSS overflow Y property is used to specify whether the vertical scroll bar to be visible or hidden various values that we can use the CSS overflow Y property are visible and hidden here I say or let's see the demonstration I go back here I say overflow X H I D D E N hidden file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the horizontal scroll bar is not visible now only we have vertical scroll bar that we can use to read the content also if I say here overflow Y hidden file save go to browser and refresh now the vertical scroll bar is not available only the horizontal scroll bar is available that is how you can use um, the overflow X and overflow Y properties even I say here overflow dash X colon H I double D E N hidden semicolon file save go to browser and refresh now both scroll bars are not visible it is same like saying overflow hidden file save go to browser and refresh there is no change you can see that I hope you guys have clearly understood CSS width property CSS height property CSS overflow property CSS overflow X property CSS overflow Y property I suggest you people to try using these properties and experiment for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get some more information on CSS box model properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial